What's going on guys? As you may have guessed, today we're going to do a quick video on uh, rear view mirrors. And in this particular case we're going to address uh, the one on my uh, M Roadster. So here's the problem. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. Uh, this happens to a lot of uh, stock self-dimming mirrors on these cars. And there is a way to get this fixed. You can uh, send it off to this company. I think uh, it's called Raider Mirror. And they're going to fix it. Um, but I'm not not a huge fan of this uh, of this oval setup because these mirrors are I don't know are kind of useless. So instead of uh, paying 100 to 150 bucks to get it fixed, I think that's what they charged. I decided to replace the mirror altogether, and to my delight. Uh, you can basically fit a mirror from almost any making from almost any model of BMW. So I went on eBay and I picked this thing up, and this is a mirror from uh, E65. So you will find that uh, this uh, mount is the same across all those uh, models. So we're going to hopefully install this and, uh, you know, hook it up and see how it works. Uh, this one even has home link, which actually I may hook it up to because I think it's useful. It also comes, uh, you know, with these uh, plastic trim pieces. I'm not sure if they'll fit because of the shape of the windshield, but I don't care. I just need a functional rear view mirror that looks uh, somewhat uh, OEM. So let's see if it works. All right. Okay, so where were we? Installing this thing is actually pretty uh, pretty simple and it uh, plugs right in. So we're going to plug it in. See it clips right in. it here and the way you install this is by putting it in like so and then turning this whole deal clockwise and it's in Okay, let's test it out real quick. Okay, so you see how uh, it looks totally normal now. Uh, let me turn my key and see it's starting to dim. So that's how we know that it works. <laughs> Again, it's, uh, it's a plug and play, even though it comes from a lot uh, newer car. Interesting. Um, the only thing that's left is installing this, uh, what do you want to call it, um, I don't know, trim, shroud, whatever. And I suspect that it's actually going to fit. So let's see, I think it's going to go in one side at a time. Just like so, and then the other side. Click 
clips right in. Let's see how it looks from the outside. Uh, looks <laughs> quite crappy, if, if I was honest. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to design some kind of a uh, cover for this. Because it looks a little tacky this way. Could be a good uh, place to mount a dash cam. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, I have my mirror functioning. And now the only thing left to do is uh, to set up the home link. Yep, it powers on. So I just have to sync it to my garage. Again, simple installation, quick video. Um, I hope, as usual, you enjoyed this. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, ask in the comments and uh, give me a like and subscribe. See you next time.